chicken noodle in milk. Chicken noodle in milk. Nails watching that. What are you watching anyways? Documentary. I think it's on like India or something. Why would she use a spatula? Spatula is dirty, man. Your pants are warm. You can make eggs or whatever it is you mutated people eat. Well, I'm going to park for tomorrow. Today. What the hell for? It's probably step nine. Why? There's an American Funniest Videos Marathon today. A whole bunch of people getting hit in the nuts. I mean, what's better than that? Yeah, well... You're coming with me, too. Why? You? Against all possible logic and proof of a caring God, are my sponsor. I'm gonna get dressed. You should probably wear something decent. Why, Becca? Why now? That phone call that woke me up this morning, that was her mom. Apparently she's out of therapy now and moved into a house in Parkford a couple weeks ago. She's on my men's list. Just have no idea what I'm going to say to her. So don't go. Some 12-step sponsor you are. I have to go. I have to tell her. What? That you want her back? That you love that cute shoulder twitch thing she does? Or you love her insane devotion to people who make stuff animals? I mean, I guess Shut it is kind of cute, This though. isn't some ill-advised attempt to win her back. I have to go tell her who I was back then. Maybe get some closure on the whole deal. What the hell else are you going to do today, man? Seriously, making shadow puppets in the hall light? Masturbating in Petticoat Junction? Come on, man. Later. I can't believe Becca still is willing to listen to me. Why? Well, you know, after I inadvertently burned a large portion of her stuffed animal collection. Yeah, that was weird. What was with her in those things? She collects them. There, there's differences between each model from every manufacturer of each stuffed animal. Wait, so she's a plushie? That's just sick, man. Yeah, I've seen you eat food out of the garbage before. Anyway, you can't tell me well, that. What? Why can't I tell you? Dead eyes staring at you. Dead plastic eyes watching you from the bed. They had to affect your performance somehow. No. No, I mean, no it didn't. I mean, it's just... I looked at them like a bunch of little pillows on the bed, you know? Just a bunch of little pillows with faces, and every now and then she'd refer to one as its name. It was kind of weird. Hey, that guy looks like my Uncle Joe. You don't have an Uncle Joe. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> you don't. Yes, I do. My mom told me about him. Most people have imaginary friends. He is my uncle. I mean, he could tell me some serious knowledge about our family life history. I mean, he could be a haberdasher. What does a haberdasher have anything to do with anything? Just like saying the word. Haberdasher. Well, that's not really a viable reason of adding another layer of stench to the vehicle. I mean, besides, he might be a serial killer. Well, what if he isn't? What if he really is my Uncle Joe? This could be my one chance of meeting him. Do you really want that on your conscience for the rest of your life? He is not. He's my uncle. I mean, if you don't pull over right now so we can pick him up, that is gonna leave a serious dent in your conscience for the rest of your life. I can't believe we didn't pick up Uncle Joe. And we could use with some good karma right now. We're about to face 
the realm of evil here. That's awful. That is true evil. Have you been eating ground beef from under the couch again? What's a fajita? <laughs> Approximately how old was a fajita? Well, yeah, well. But why are we even going to see Becca anyway? It's not like you did anything wrong. I thought I was the reason she broke up with you. What? Yeah, sure, right. You were, but I doubt. I called her a skank and hit her with a bag of cheeseburgers. Don't hear why. lying. She's a vegetarian. Mostly. I define mostly. Well, I think I did call her a skank, but I'm pretty sure I was talking to the TV set. Uh, one of your intellectual conversations again, I see. The cheeseburgers, not so much, but I may have used one of their stuffed bunnies to clean up with spillers. She thought that was her dog. That was you? Also, I have another confession. Towards the end of you two, I spent several hours one morning teaching her parent how to say vulva. What? I was bored, and it was the word of the day. You think that it's a secret, but it never has been one. That damn bird was shrinking vulva mid-coitus once. What are you doing here? How did you find me? And did you have to bring that with you? Oh, hi, nice to see you too. Oh, how's your parrot? Hello, Becca, I came to say I'm sorry. Look, it, it was a long time ago. I'm over it, I got through it. You should too. You know, that's what I've been saying to them. Oh, what's with the bears? Bears? The bears? This is in 1973. Yeah, that, that, that's great. That's wonderful. Look, I'm okay. I've, I don't blame you for anything. I've, I've had therapy. I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot better. Well, I better go back to work. I, I run the ring toss. I don't hold you accountable for anything that happened. I hope you don't either. Wait, but, but wait, but Becca! I'm sorry. Probably shouldn't have brought you here. Probably shouldn't even come myself. Hey, don't worry about it. You know, if you don't take any chances, you'll never have an adventure. If you don't let anything bad happen to you, you won't let anything happen to you. Ooh, elephant ears. Hey, my Uncle Joe likes elephant ears. Can we get him one? <laughs>